Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be building the Game Shell Portable Games Console. So it's pretty much a Game Boy that you build yourself and you can put like an operating system on it and play all types of retro games. So this was actually sent to me by Clockwork. So if you guys like the look of it during the video, there will be a link in the description if you guys wish to purchase one. Um, it's just their official website and you can find some more information about them on there. So this is the box that they sent me. Let's just have a look at this. Here are all of the specs on the front. So you can just pause and read that if you want to. As you can see, it's got a quad-core Cortex-A7 CPU in there, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, Linux, 1GB of DDR3 RAM, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got a 16GB SD card with it. And um, yeah, there's a few other things on there, which are also pretty cool. The battery is 1200 mAh, and it's also rechargeable, of course. So yeah, this is what the box looks like. Let's just take a look at the sides, the back. Pretty basic, nothing really on the sides and the back. It's pretty much just blank like that. And then it says, don't panic. So let's just go ahead and open this thing and let's take a look. So this is actually a Game Boy that you put together yourself. Um, it's basically like a cool project thing, but it's really cool once it's actually built. You can play all types of Game Boy Color, um, Game Boy. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get RetroArch on here as well. So yeah, all different types of games. So the first thing in the box, um, we have these two kind of sheets of plastic. This one looks like the, like, control pad at the bottom maybe that's the top screen or something we'll put these to the side we'll have a look at those in a minute and um, there's also some pieces of paper in here so let's take a look at these so we've got what is this oh they're stickers I'm not too sure what they're for but these appear to be stickers here is the assembly guide so this is important we need the instructions to work out how to put this thing together it also has the parts list on here as well and then we've got tons of these kind of like small boxes now i'm guessing these have all the parts in and um, yeah that would make sense so we've got quite a lot of these in here they're all different things i don't think they're labeled or anything like that let's just take all these out anyway Okay, so let's just start by having a look at everything and taking everything out of the box. Um, there's quite a lot of different things in here. So it looks like they're all in their own boxes. So this right here is the, let's have a look at this. These are the buttons. Okay, yeah, so these are all the buttons. We've got the like rubber pad down here and um, they're all in these stencils. So you will need some kind of like um, tool like this just to chop them out. I'm not quite sure what this is called, like mini pliers or something like that. So you will need one of those. Um, we've got some shoulder buttons here as well so I'll just put these to the side and we'll just have a look at everything it comes with right now this one has a caution label on it so I wonder what this is let's have a look maybe it's the screen or something like that okay so we've got the main board we have got the screen here so you've got to be very careful with that and actually maybe this is the main board yeah this is the main board because it has the SD card um, port on so this is probably the I don't know but we'll find out what they all do in a minute let's put that to the side in the next box we have got another caution sticker thing so let's find out what this thing is So even more parts, this is where the SD card is, there is a load of cables in here, we have the rechargeable battery and we have some more things to connect, again we will find out what they will do once we actually get onto building it. Two more boxes, let's just open these and see what we have got in these ones. Here is the game, like clockwork game shell, um, well the actual shell of the Game Boy, so you can get a pretty good look at what it looks like. Kind of looks like the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, that's the kind of style they've gone for. This one is a white one, I have seen some other YouTube videos, people have got red ones, yellow ones, and um, yeah, this is the, uh, they've obviously sent me the white one. Maybe you can get a clear one as well, I think I might have seen that before. And then we've also got something else in here, let's see what this is, I guess this is the back of it. Yep, so we've got the back of it, and um, is that two different backs of it? So this one's got like, like uh, stuff on it. it. Looks like kind of like Lego studs or something like that. So we've got two backs. Maybe we can choose which one we want. 
So now let's take a look at the instructions. As you can see, this is the parts list. So this is everything it comes with. Um, it actually looks pretty simple. It also says here, um, ages 11 to 15. So I'm just about old enough to do this. No, just kidding. But anyway, let's just go ahead and build this right now with step one. So the first step is the screen. So we need to find all of the parts which, um, you know, connect together to the screen. So I think maybe the cables, there's quite a lot of parts here, so I have to go through them, but I will find those right now. So this part here is the screen. So let's just go and take this out of plastic. Of course, being very careful because you do not want to get any scratches on it or damage anything. So yeah, here is the screen. Let's see if we can take this out um, with the pair of plies right here. So we just need to kind of just chop the end off there. This is actually quite a good pair. I think this came from like a Warhammer set, if you know there's like toys. So yeah, I had this for ages. And there you go, there's the screen almost out. Let's just chop the last bit off. So here's the screen, make sure the edges aren't like sharp or anything, make sure you kind of get all these bits of plastic off. As you can see there's still a little bit on here so I'll try and take that off as best as possible. So you go, pretty much got that bit off right there. And now what we need to do is find the other half. We need to find one of these. So maybe it's easier to chop all of these out and then actually, um, yeah, so I'm probably actually gonna just take everything out of these stencils before I do any more. Okay guys, so as you can see, what I've done is actually taken everything out of the bags. I've cut everything out of these stencils. And as you can see, I've kind of like put them with each other. So this one would be the screen. This one would be the main board. We've got the button board here. We've got the battery. We've got the speaker. So yeah, basically I just took everything out and um, I've just laid it across so it's easier to put together. Now these, I don't actually know what these are. They don't appear to be in the instructions. So I'm going to leave those out for now. Um, I think they go with this kind of like Lego one with studs on the back. So you can like, attach these to it. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, what they are for yet, but maybe for other projects. But yeah, this is everything it comes with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the screen and let's put everything together. I have also clipped these plastic bits together and um, it will show you how to do that in the instructions. But yeah, each plastic bit is different and they all clip together. So guys, the first part of the instructions is the screen. So we need to get these two plastic pieces, make sure you've cut them out and make sure they are clipped together just like this. As you can see, this one's the screen part. This one is the bit that goes underneath. You know it's this bit of plastic because it has the slot in here. And then of course we need to get the screen. It will have a plastic kind of like screen protector. So make sure you go and peel that off. Then make sure this ribbon cable is bent backwards just like this. And it should be able to just sit in there fairly easily. If I can just push that in and then they just clip on the pegs and you should then be able to just close it and the screen should be in there. Now, you don't really want to get any hairs or anything trapped in here. So if you do, make sure you open it again and kind of like try and brush them off with the cloth. It's quite hard, but just try not to get any kind of like, you know, hairs or anything trapped inside. So there's one there. Um, okay, so that's looking pretty good. And then yeah, the ribbon cable should just be bent backwards like this and you can move it in and out. And um, yeah, so let's go on to the next step, which is the main board itself. So for the main board, we need another two pieces of plastic. This one right here with these kind of ports on. Um, this one here is the top piece. It actually says main board on there. Of course, we need the SD card so we can go and take this out of the little piece of like plastic box it comes in. And then of course we have the main board itself and the SD card will just go in here like that. I'm pretty sure it's that way around. There you go and it just clips in like that and then we can just put the main board in so it actually goes upside down like that make sure you kind of line it up this is also where the power button is so if we just line that up right there that should be in now we can just close it shut just make sure you clip it and that is literally it for the main board so let's go on to the next one which is the keyboard okay so next we've got the keyboard so the keyboard plastic just looks like this and these two just clip together and then what we have to do is get the main board and the main board should just sit in there just like this and you'll know if you've done it right because you can fold these over and you can see that the buttons kind of line up like that so we actually have to just make sure this is all pushed down and then just put the rubber bit on top make sure you don't really touch these um you know the contacts there i don't know it's probably not good to touch those too much so let's just put this over the top and we should be able to just i've actually got my runner away but we should be able to just push this over the top of it so let's just line this up And there you go, it should go.
go on there. Now it might be a bit fiddly, you might have to move these bits of rubber in a bit. Just like that, but it should just clip over the top like that. So just make sure it's pressed down. You can make sure the button's pressed and everything like that. And now what we can do is actually just put the buttons on. Now these buttons are probably going to fall off, so it doesn't really matter if they're on there. The case will hold them in all together at the end. But we need to um, put the buttons in. So I'll show you how like the layout you have to do. So apparently it's the Xbox um, controller layout, so that's quite interesting. So let's just do this. So we've got A, which would be down here. So it's different than um, the DS's. And then we've got B, which would be on the side here. So I guess that means B is going to be the enter button or something like that. Okay, so it should look just like that. We've got X, Y, A, B. Um, exactly like that, just like it would on the Xbox controllers. So that is now the keyboard done. As I said, tip it, buttons fall off, doesn't really matter, the case holds them all in. So let's go on to the next thing. So we are now on the battery, so we need these two pieces of plastic. This one actually says battery container, so you can tell, and then this board right here. So what we've got to do is just line everything up. Um, this bit should just sit in here like this, so the ports line up like that. You can just push it down, make sure it's in there. You can also just get the battery and actually just put it into the case. So just clip that on like that. And that's pretty much it for the battery. You can now close it and we've got the battery in its own container with the port at the side. So let's go move on to the next thing. So the next thing we have to do is build the speaker. So I'm just going to find all of these parts right here. So we need to get this board right here and this part just sits like that. It should just clip on. Next, we have these two pieces in this kind of like plastic tray. We actually need to take these out. So there should be a plastic bit on top that you can just peel off and they should just fall out like that. It also says that these two pieces have a protective layer on. So we have to remove that and they should be able to just sit in like so, just at the top bit here. Now once they are clipped in and looking like that, make sure these bits are on the outside. Well, that's what I got from the instructions. And then we just need to clip these two halves together. And there you go, guys. It should clip together eventually, just like that, if I can even get it to clip. And then it should look something just like that with the speaker units like that. And they should all be connected together and that should be fine. So now we've pretty much got everything. We've got the screen, battery, motherboard, uh, we've got the like control pad here, and then we've also got the speaker. So what we're going to do is basically put the thing together. So the first thing we want to do is get the main board and get our screen. And then the main board and the screen actually attach together, um, just like this, I believe. Now it's probably easier to actually take the main board out. I didn't actually think of that. So let's just take it out right now, and I will be able to clip it together. So it should just clip in just like that. Just in there, make sure not to bend any pins or anything like that. Um, I just took mine out because it was easier. Now I can, what I can do is actually just put it back into the case. And then now we've got the main board and the screen attached. So we can actually just put that to the side right there. So next we need to attach the keyboard to the motherboard using one of these form pin connectors. So I've got this one right here. Um, this one should be able to just plug in there like that. Um, there is actually two of them. I believe one of them is a bit longer. So yeah, this one, this one's for the speaker. Do not use this one yet. Now we can connect this into the um, keyboard or whatever they want to call it. So let's just plug that in right now. Okay, so there you go. Now it's looking like that. Now what we need to do is get the battery. The battery will go under here, just like that. And the battery actually plugs into the main board as well using one of these connectors. Now this one is a two pin one. So we just need to connect that up in there. And then it should be exactly like that, just connected. I think what we can do now is start to put everything in the case. We also do need to plug in the speaker, so we can probably do that now as well. If we just get this four pin, this is like the longest cable it comes with. Um, we can just plug this in here. And then this into the speaker. So this just goes into the speaker port down here. Just like that, and it should plug in. And now we've pretty much got 
kind of like a Game Boy, as you can see, it start, it's pretty much starting to look like that one. So what we can do right now is get a case, you can choose, you can get this one, or you can get the one with the Lego studs on the back one. I'm going to go for the original first, just so we can see what that looks like. And let's just start to put everything into the case. So what we should probably do is just lift it up like this and just start to kind of like arrange everything. They actually have like gaps for everything to like sit in, which is really nice. And you can just push it in there. So push down the motherboard, push down the screen, push down the battery and the keyboard itself. Make sure they're all clipped in. And we can also put in the speaker. Um, how does the speaker go? I think the speaker must go like that. Just make sure you're careful of all of these like cables and wires and stuff. Make sure you don't trap them under anything. I'd recommend probably like lapping them around the edges a bit. And the speaker should just sit in there like that, I believe. So there you go. That's what it's looking like right now. And there is actually some other stuff we can add in here. Now there are these four kind of like white pieces of rubber. These are what we need to add. These actually just push down the sides here in these kind of bits and they just kind of like hold everything together. They can also squash the wires down. I'm pretty sure that's fine if you squash a wire down with them. It just holds everything in place. So let's just put all of these ones in. There's four of them all together and you just simply just push them in the sides like that. So we've got two more on this side as well. One here and then we've also got one that goes here. Okay, so now it is looking like that, looking like an actual Game Boy. Let's find the front of it, which is this piece of plastic here, and we should be able to just clip this on the front. So I'm just going to push it down and clip it into place. Um, it doesn't actually completely clip until you put the rest of the pieces in, um, which are these two things right here. So let's just make sure it's kind of clipped in. Make sure there's no wires or anything like that sticking out. If there are, just push them down um, with your like screwdriver or whatever. And now let's just put these things on. So these things actually just clip on the side like that and they actually twist um, so I believe they twist like like kind of towards you just like that and then we've got one for the other side as well make sure everything's clipped down before you put these on and then you can just go and twist it and now it's looking like a pretty solid Game Boy. There aren't really many gaps. It feels pretty solid, more solid than the Game Boy Color. Um, you can check all the buttons, press and everything like that. Nothing should be moving around or falling out. And yeah, there you go. Now it's looking like a solid Game Boy. So every sh thing should be working as well. You can see that's what it looks like from the back. I really like the back. It looks really cool being transparent. So this one here is just the basic design and I was just looking at the instructions. There is actually a use for the kind of like Lego design. Um, it's the light key part. So maybe I will try that and I'll show you guys that in the next video I do on this. But yeah, um, it's actually looking really interesting. Um, I'm not actually too sure what that does. But what we can do, we can just try and power it on. I will probably make another video on this um, where I show you guys all the software and everything like that. So these are all of the parts which are left over. I guess they're for that light thing. And then we've also got some you know, extra cables and stuff. So maybe I will try and do this and I'll show you in another video. Also, this thing does actually work with Lego pieces. So you're able to put Lego pieces on here and they do actually clip on there um, like a proper Lego thing. So yeah, that's quite cool. So yeah, let me show you some of the, let me show you this thing actually turning on now. Let's just test it out. The power button is at the top right here. So if we just press this and hold it for a few seconds, Hopefully, it should actually power up. Oh, there you go, it seems to be working. Clockwork seems to be loading up. Welcome to the Clockwork Pi. For more information, visit their website. So there will be a link to their website in the description, of course, and you can buy one from there and find more information about them. But here we are guys, it works. I will be showing you more about the actual operating system probably in another video because otherwise this is just going to be way too long. But one thing we can do is go over to power off. And as you can see it's B for enter just like it was on the Xbox. So let's just go on B for shut down. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to check out the links in the description if you guys wish to purchase one. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.